Alright, welcome back guys. I hope you're enjoying this project so far. Um, we've modelled out our objects and uh, we've built a little bit of the scene in our previous videos if you want to go look at that. But we're creating like a lonely, sad, kind of moody uh, atmosphere in this scene. Um, so uh, in this video I want to texture map our bench. Uh, I'm just going to go through a uh, a very nice trick I use sometimes on some objects guys. So uh, it speeds up a lot of time and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, Alright guys so we've got our Lambert and um, let's just put our textures on here. By the way guys in the um, before I started this video I just copied my textures. Uh, for the lights I've just got two basic textures. That's all we need guys honestly. and. Um, for the bench I've just got a plank of wood so uh, that's what we're going to use that's all you need guys <laughs> trust me on that um, so I'm just going to get the file uh, let's look for the file in our project uh, bench um, and as you can see the, the textures on here now if you can't see it guys click this icon here to view your, te your textures um, so the first thing I'm going to do guys is just open my uh, UV texture editor so nothing's there at the moment um so what we do guys we can what I do is in this situation I select all the vertical faced uh faces select them all and uh go to um the UVs based on the camera and then I do the same in the horizontal position I'll show you guys how it works in this video I'm not going to select all of them but I'm just going to select firstly all the vertical uh faces so all the faces facing kind of forwards and backwards so um whoops that includes these ones as well so all these ones guys so all the vertical ones so all these up here all these you know so all these down here all right guys so all these up here all the vertical ones even these ones and then line the camera up so it's facing in front of the bench guys and all you got to do is go to create UVs and create UVs based on the camera All right, so here they are in the texture editor we can move them about if we wanted to we can make them a bit smaller if I select the right thing alright guys so and it's as simple as that now as you can see the, the texture is kind of aligned in the right direction I kind of already done it in my <laughs> when I was practicing but um, you get the picture so uh, all, all of the vertical ones will have the wood facing in the right direction and we do exactly the same again to the horizontal ones so all these ones for example these all right guys so these on top will be horizontal below will be horizontal so we select all of them and then we line the camera up facing downwards all right so the UV is going to be based on this kind of shape let's do the same again let's move them into place, uh, let's make them a bit smaller um, and as you can see the wood's still facing in kind of a vertical position all we need to do is rotate it 90 degrees and there we go guys, now they're facing the right direction alright so that's how I would tackle the, the bench uh, texturing it's pretty simple to do, you know, just move it about move the camera about and then boom, apply the texture and um, very quick to do so this won't work on all objects um, you know, trust me guys it doesn't work on all objects but you know what in this situation it works pretty well so I just wanted to go through this technique in this video it saves a lot of time if you've got like simple objects like this so um, hopefully I'll see you next video guys we're going to uh, texture map our lamp so uh, I'll see you next video thanks for watching